find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Do you swear, do you swear to love and honor? Yeah, I swear. Then your bachelorhood's a goner. I love you, you're perfect, now change. It's quite a challenge for us actors because it is presented in a very different way than a traditional musical. A dude with a flamethrower would make this movie goer so happy that this sappy tripe is done. In a sense, it's kind of like a musical review in a collection of vignettes and it's got sketch. My name is Trentel. I am a convicted mass murderer and I'm single. There's a real sense of play among the four actors and I think that sort of transmits to the audience. Every single scene has something remarkably relatable. We have enjoyed doing it for audiences so much because their reactions are so genuine. And I love when I see them lean over to their partner or whoever they came with and said, that's us. But suddenly it's thrilling, cause daddy bear is willing, I'm married. And I'm gonna have sex. I haven't done like comedy on in a musical in a while, I feel. So this was a huge challenge for me. It was also very helpful to get out of the rehearsal room. So that first like preview where we actually had people laughing, that was so helpful because even lines that we didn't think were funny, all of a sudden we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Poppy. Yes, daddy? I want another baby. I want another two babies. I want another three babies. I want another four babies. Three. In rehearsal, what? cast what? members would make me laugh all the time. Uh, one of those scenes where you have two dads obsessing over their baby, with them being so committed next to me, I could not get through it without laughing. Freaks, what? Was that him? Clear. The way John Simpkins, our director, approached that was it's just about the couple and how over the top they are. And any couple in that situation can relate to that. So I think that's why it's so funny. And it just happens to be two guys. I've had a bypass. Well, I've had two. I can dye my hair. It looks nice blue. The scene in the funeral home honestly is I think the most challenging, is, uh, for me at least, but it's a fun one because there's, there's humor, but then there's also the reality of what you face at that time. You're maybe like losing friends or you're losing your partner and what that feels like. For grandkids, we can wait. No need to procreate. Who cares if you've destroyed your parents' dreams?